on the ninth day of footness. And in this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of. I'm going to introduce the concept of. What is that? Here we go with an SBC. This time it's Limer RB. Is it worth spending 150? Can he play CB next to Costi? What's up, boys, and welcome to Foot Freeze, Foot Miss Day, whatever we're calling this, Freeze Day number 9 or 10, who knows, we're a couple days away from Christmas, hopefully you guys are having a great holidays, whatever you're celebrating, uh, and today we celebrate a 150,000 coin oh Freeze God. Conrad Limer, who looks like an interesting choice given a few variabilities. One, if you missed out on the Mukiel objective, this is easily the best right back option available for you right now in the Bundesliga. Uh, Mbabu doesn't look like it's going to be hopeful that the Wolfsburg player on Thursday or Wednesday is going to be in Babu now that we've gotten this could still be but I don't think they give a Bundesliga player a non-Bundesliga player I think tomorrow's the French player and then the Wolfsburg player comes out I think maybe we see ourselves a winger maybe a winger uh, a winger wout an 85 Conrad Limer, like I said, about 150, 160,000 coins, so it's pretty damn expensive. You guys know me. I don't really like spending too much cash on my wingbacks. The Dama Traore is a main example of that. Still could do an epi on it, uh, but today, given that we are, uh, you know, we run the Bundesliga heavy squad, and uh, a lot of you guys are picking up the game for the first time over Christmas or something like that, uh, this Conrad Limer could be a guy that helps you out uh, early in the game if you're not comfortable running Mbabu, who is really the only other option at right back if you're running a Bundesliga squad. So, it does fill a need. How However, we are going to be running him as a right back in the first game, but in the second game, I'm going to be pairing him alongside, in my opinion, the best center back in FIFA 21, and that's none other than Road to the Final Clusterman. But before we get to that, boys, like I always say, smash like on the video if you guys do enjoy the Eppies. Smash like on the video if you think this card's a little bit overpriced. Smash like on the video if you missed the Mukel and you're thinking about possibly getting this Conrad Limer. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. So, what do you get with the card? You get about 100 total in-game stat upgrade. Obviously, position change from center mid to right back. Conrad Limer is a name that you guys would have known early on in stages in FIFA 21. Super, super OP. Went for like 35, 40,000 coins. Goes for goes for nothing now. Um, but uh, was not a right back, that's for sure. Some people were using him, I think, as a center back. And some people might have even been experimenting with a right back. Uh, using him as a CDM. But um, it definitely looks like an interesting card. So, 5'11", has medium high work rates and based on these stats right here you'd think you, you you know 511 like I said has the medium high work rates either a ridiculous convert him back to center mid uh from the right back position or just keep him as a right back and what do you get with the stats you get 89 acceleration 92 sprint speed with the anchor that goes up to 94 and 97 respectively that's perfect that's fine for that position shooting stats become very very interesting has the 82 composure so you get him inside the box he's right footed on the right side so I mean he looks like he can probably finish with a different chem style maybe you put something on that can get his distance shooting jacked off a little bit he turns into a fun little card passing stats I would love the curve to be up. I'd like the vision to be a little bit better for wingback, but 87 crossing and short passing is pretty much all you need on your wingbacks. Uh, dribbling stats leave a little bit to be desired. The highest is 82. The, the, the 482s is pretty wild, and it's going to trigger... I, mean, I don't know if it's going to trigger some OCD, but... Um, the 482 stats in dribbling is pretty nuts to see, uh, just in terms of them all being 82. And then defending and physical, this is where it's at. 87 interceptions, the most important stat for a wingback. 86 defensive awareness, I would argue the second most important. And then goes up to 92 standing tackle with the anchor. Uh, and then jumping goes up plus 10. Heading accuracy goes up plus 5. The anchor's huge if we're going to be playing him at center back as well, uh, because we do want him to have that 90 jumping. 92 stamina goes up to 90 strength and 97 aggression with no real traits to speak of. So... I don't know. For 150k, think about it this way, right? So if we play him on 7 chem, what's he look like, right? We have him on 7 chem right there. You know, it's uh, instead of plus 10 strength, it's plus 5. So he goes up to 85 strength. He goes up to 85 jumping. He gets 95 sprint speed. He gets 92 acceleration. Would you be comfortable with these stats that you see here? Does this look like a center back that you would want to roll with? And I mean, it kind of looks kind of crazy to me, to be honest with you. 92 sprint speed. He kind of looks like the second coming of, uh, of Clusterman. So that's what we're going to try out in game. We're going to have Klosti as our left center back. We're going to have Konrad Leimer as our right center back. Delaney is going to go up to center mid. Uh, Zakaria is going to go out to right back. And we're going to bring on Mendy, who many consider the best wing back in the game over at right back. And we're also going to try our hand at Serge Gnabry one more time, replacing uh, Lewandowski, who we would have used in Saturday's FE. But match number one with 85, 150,000 coin, Konrad Leimer. <laughs> 
obviously the elephant in the room is that Mukel, and we had alluded to it earlier before, is available. But on the main account, which is, you know, it was an objective card. First off, maybe not everyone had the time to do it while it was out. Second off, a lot of people don't even have the game. So many people don't have the game right now. Uh, and they pick it up during Christmas. Speaking of the best Bundesliga wing back. Let's see what he feels like on the ball. I mean, like, you don't need a hell of a lot of agility on your wing backs, but he can do the body faint. Bro, what is that sound? What actually is that sound? Alright, Infinity Gauntlet has been initialized. We've got Klosterman and we've got Conrad Leimer. There's Conrad Limer. By the way, Erling broke the Cuttleton FC weekend league goal scoring record this uh, this past weekend on the RTG. 48 goals in 30 games of weekend league. And there's Klosterman. See, that's the beautiful thing about Kl Klosterman and Limer. Klosterman. Come on, dude. And yes, I know, you guys are like, Zwei, you need an engine on, on, on uh, Erling. No, you don't. He's fine with a, he's fine with a finisher. Dorgan? <laughs> Dorgan, hazard. Conrad Limer, love that. Referee, grow a set. If I'm keeping it a full stack, boys. If I'm keeping it a full stack, this isn't a must, this isn't a must do SBC. It, it applies to a few people, okay? Those of us that were fortunate enough, I guess, to have the game when we did, uh, and to get Mukel, now have the option to get 150k. Why is that? That's not great. Love that. Love that from Serge Gnabry, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a dead fish. There's Klosterman literally retrieving the ball in the midfield. And then, ah, damn it. Wasn't gonna, gonna be offside anyway. No, 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 no. The weather. The airline body faint. That's... What is this game? It's just back and forth. It's crazy. Look at it. Look at Erling. With the finisher, he goes up to 94 agility, 99 dribbling. He doesn't get that with the engine. Conrad Limer, beautiful interception. Got the play of the game. There's Conrad Limer coming up. Is that the play? Is that the play of the game? Morgan Hazard? What is but that? I don't know, Chef! It's not good enough! Get out! You're not good enough! Piss off! Weiter geht's, Jungs! Weiter geht's, Jungs! He's the best. Clusterman's the best. That Wait, that was Clush to you. Oh my god. These guys are so nuts. Alright, let's let's test out that speed. Let's test out that sprint speed and see what it's like. Run down the wing. Nice. And there's a wing back. Looks like he can get some stuff done. Come on, bro. I'm gonna line Love that. Is 
That was Conrad Lammer too. I'm telling you, Thorgan Hazard's different. Thorgan Hazard is a different kind of guy. Conrad Limer doing his best Lucas Klosterman impression. Timo Werner. Timo Werner. Klosti. Is that on? He's on. Let's go, boys. 2 1. What an absolute play. Literally, all three of the, his defenders were sucked in by Serge Gnabs. And then Bailey just goes ahead and he blasts at the four star, four star. Regret not doing him on the RTG if I'm keeping it a stack. For 150,000 coins, if you frame it in this way, right? So this is interesting. If you frame it in this way, would you pay 150,000 coins for the best wing back in the Bundesliga? Or is it worth paying 150,000 coins for to have the best? center back in the Bundesliga. I don't think he's better than Road to the Final Clusterman, but he becomes a very interesting option at 7 chem. A lot of people are fine running that. Has every stat that you could want on a center back and pairs very nicely, like I said, with that uh, with that Lucas Clusterman getting the um, getting the near perfect link because they obviously both play for uh, for Leipzig. And if you if you have the Mukel, it's just a bonus on top. So I don't know. If you're running him truly at wing back, I mean 150,000 coins for a really, really ridiculous card, I feel like is decent value. For those of you guys that Mukel, did Mukel again? This might be an option that you consider running at center back alongside uh, a clusterman. Uh, in terms of value, I'm not going to say this is great value. I'm not going to say this is great value by any means. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a three and a half. I'm going to give this a three out of five in terms of value. Um, again. This speaks to people that didn't do Mukel, that didn't have the game at that uh, point in time. But even if you just picked up the game a few weeks ago, if you picked up the game a, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago and, and missed out on the Mukel, 150,000 coins is a pretty steep asking price for the right back position. Three out of five in terms of value on the pitch performance. I got to give him a four out of five. I ran him mostly at center back. I don't think there needs to be any evaluation on him playing wing back. He's got all the stats you would want. He's got the sp uh, sprint speed and then 88 interceptions is, you know, that's the most important stat for me in terms of running a player as a wing back. For 150,000 coins, I think as time goes on, how long, how long is this SPC out here for? Four days. So what is that? The 22nd, 21st, 23rd. So he'll be here on Christmas Eve. He'll be here on Christmas Eve. So if you're picking up FIFA, make sure that you grind squad battles, div division rivals, and get qualified for weekend league as quickly as possible to get those coins if you need to get yourself a limer. Again, I don't think this is a must-do SBC by any means. I'm sure we'll have a special Bundesliga, you know, inform or special card come out at some point. Uh, but um, as of right now, this looks like he just might be the best option at wing back in the Bundesliga. That's not named Mukel for those of you guys that didn't do him. But that's going to do it for the episode here, boys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on stream. Have a fun little announcement on stream. Gonna be doing a really really fun giveaway I can't, i'm not going to give away too much right now but i have a fun little giveaway on on the twitch stream tonight make sure to hit that link uh to the twitch stream in the description below uh, if you guys did enjoy the episode yeah, smash like if you guys are new hit subscribe i'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow we'll catch you guys on stream later tonight till next time boys choose later a day